It is going down on Dash Radio. I'm DJ Ski, joined by, I'd say, one of the hottest artists in hip-hop. But I'd say, right now, at this point, one of the hottest artists in the entire music landscape. Dage Loaf, welcome into our studios in L.A. What's up? Thanks for having me. How's the city treating you? I just got here today, so Did we're going to see I'm going to be here all week. So often. How often have you been out to L.A. before? Uh, this is like my second, what's it, second time okay. right here? Well, yeah, what's it, what's it, everything. what's it like, uh, kind of now getting to see the whole country from, from a different perspective coming from Detroit, which is, you know, I grew up in the Midwest as well in Minneapolis, similar cityscapes and landscapes and stuff. And then to go out in November and be in like 80 degree weather. Man, every day, <laughs> different city, different, you know, every night we somewhere different, you know, and I didn't know I got, you know, all of these people loved me. So it was like, yeah. wow, every night I'm doing a show, these people screaming and. You know, I'm like, wow, I didn't even know, like, Rhode Island. I didn't even know, like, <laughs> people out there knew who I was. So it's, like, dope you know, they, every night to do something different. And, what was the point for you when you realized it was all really happening? Was uh, there a point where you were like, all right, damn, this is, like, really taking off? Because I know you put out a couple mixtapes. You put out a mixtape before the, Before this is the one that really kind of took you off to, to, the, to the mainstream world. Mm -hmm. what, was the, what was the moment? Was there a tipping point when somebody... It could have been somebody quoting your lyrics, tweeting it out, you just seeing the reaction and people seeing you. What were you, were, at what point were you kind of like, damn, this record is really, really happening? When I um put out um the, the record, uh, when people started reposting the video, like, I mean, yeah. well, just like dancing to it and start like yeah. all type of videos. They had guns, they had, you know, just doing <laughs> all type of crazy stuff. And I started reposting the videos and it was just like growing like every day like i had so many dms and just everybody like post my video please please and i'm just like reposting everybody's video that's when i knew i was on to something you know i was like man this is crazy like that's before good. even the celebrities got involved like it was just yeah. like the kids out from oakland and cali was just showing love i'm like wow and now when you recorded this record did you know try me was gonna be what did you know that were you like wow we're really on to something this is dope or are you like oh this is a cool cool record another good record that i had did you have any idea it was gonna take over the world like this and it's still climbing i mean it's it still hasn't even hit the mainstream charts. Like it's still climbing on Billboard every single week, and you—it's gonna go a lot further. But <laughs> up until this point, like, did you know when you first did it that this was gonna happen? Not at all. I didn't know. All. Like, I had no idea. Like, I mean, I knew the song was great. Like, I was like, yeah. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I but didn't you, know. I'm sure that you liked a lot of other songs and stuff yeah. too. Yeah. So it was like I thought it was gonna be another song that I dropped and didn't get. You know, it's the respect, play. Right? Yeah. So I was like, whatever. But. Hey, we're here. <laughs> now, being a female coming out of Detroit and not having a major label system behind you, every artist out there, I'm sure, that it's trying to make it wants to know, how do you do it? Even, okay, so you have, you've made a lot of other dope records. What was it about this one? How did it, like, all stick? Like, what did you do to, to get it out there? With the Try Me record? Um, yeah. Like I said, it started from just Instagram. Just people finding it on Instagram and stuff? You put the it internet, up? yeah, like. The, the song just grew. Like, I was going to put out a song at 5,000 plays. Like, once I once try me at 5,000 plays on SoundCloud. <laughs> like, all right, time for the next one. Yeah, I was going to keep it flowing like that. But it, once it started just growing so much, I was like, wow, man, we on to something. I'm going to hold out and I'm going to keep yeah. this flowing. So, I mean, like, I just, like, that's what it was for me, like, for the yeah. record. You know, I didn't know it was going to be this big, man. I did not. That's awesome. So how are you feeling right now? Are you overwhelmed? Are you tired? Are you excited? How's this, how's this feeling? Because everybody's blowing you up, especially I'm sure you have a lot more family members, a lot more friends that, that have come out the woodworks and stuff since it all happened. How are you dealing with success, uh, you know, that happened so rapidly? Um, I'm all of that. Like you said, overwhelmed, tired, excited, happy. It's so many it's emotions. One, right? Yeah, it's like it's so fast. Like I'm like it's nonstop. Mm -hmm. It's like a man roller coaster that's just nonstop. But for the most part, I'm happy that I'm in this position to mm -hmm. be able to, you know, get those phone calls from my family members who I haven't talked to in <laughs> yeah, years. Right. And yeah, who's like the most, you don't have to say a name, but is there like a, could have been somebody in the music industry or family members, is there any, any like crazy things that people have asked you for yet or, because um, everybody thinks like, <laughs> I oh, I want a car. You don't have to say any names or anything, but you could just say what it was. Um. No, nah, nobody really asked nothing me for nothing crazy. crazy. I don't know. I, I, I feel like somebody asked me to get them some new teeth. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, but I'm, you know, we're, we're not calling them out. Yeah, it's all good. We're so slide that in there. <laughs> so now um, I want to talk about something that, it, that everybody's reacted to is your, your style. It, it takes so much more to me than just the music and the sound nowadays to, to make it. And you've built this this brand in, in a short period of time where people are, you know, dressing up like you for Halloween mm -hmm. and, you know, you, you've become this, you know, Drake's talking about all his closet being all black. You're, you're like 106 at Park outfit was incredible. I mean, you, have you seen all the memes, by the way, on the internet? Man, all the little pictures of... They, they killing me. It's, it's, it's awesome, right? Yeah, I was laughing at 
mostly all of them. It was funny. So do you do your own styling and wardrobe and everything? Pretty much. I mean, you know, you get a little help from, you know, yeah. a couple of people around me. But for the most part, you know, I, I, I do it myself. You now, know? now you read something interesting. You must be feeling really good today because I read you wear different occasions, black and, and, and white. Yeah, wait, I got wait, all white. So you must be feeling good today, right? Yeah. You on know? top of the world. <laughs> you were feeling really good on 106 then, huh? Oh, yeah. I had to represent for my city, man. So Epic. I had to come out like that. It's crazy. I heard it was one of their highest rated episodes in, in recent memories. What does it feel like being amongst um, all these people that you've you've listened to, I'm sure, for, for years and years and years, and now to have them quoting you, whether it's, I mean, everybody's talked about Drake, but ev I mean, every rapper in the world has hopped on your beat and stuff. What, do, what is it like seeing that that change? It's crazy. Like I say, man, it's, it's just a blessing, like I say, to be in this position and get recognized by the OGs of the game and just everybody like. Mm -hmm. I've never, I didn't, you know, I didn't see it coming. Like, you know, I, I'm not going to say I didn't see it coming. I did, but yeah. I didn't know when. So it's like, wow, yeah. you know, got everybody on the Try Me beat. You know, shout out mm -hmm. to DDS. Right. He produced that. Like, everybody wants his beats, man. It's crazy. So, yeah. And then what made you want to come and do the label? Because you talk about staying independent and stuff. And what made you want to come in and, and do the deal the way that you did? <laughs> um, When I wrote the song, it was just like I was in a place then. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm like, I ain't signing to no label. But, you know, after a while, like my team, I be doing, we was, we was pretty much rolling, yeah. you know, before, you know, the label, you know, and we thought like we needed that big machine behind us, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you, what do you say your biggest inspirations are? Cause when I, when I heard the record and even when I watched the video, I swear to God, I feel like I'm like the, the nineties, like that classic era of hip hop from the way it's shot with kind of like the cinematic slow motions and the openings and all those things. Like it <laughs> feels like that, that to me, the golden era of, of my hip hop years. <laughs> and that's why I kind of, you know, I mean, the song is infectious and everything else. What, what would you say your biggest influences are? Um, just family, man. Like back at home, my city to where I come from, I grew up in a project. So I get inspired by the things around me. Like I don't, it's not really so much, I ain't gonna say people cause like I say, my family, like yeah. everything that I'm writing about is really real. You know what I'm saying? It's like a diary, like yeah. my music, when you listen, it's really, you know, you can visualize everything going on. So like I say, my family, that, that's what inspires me to go hard, you know? Yeah. Now what's your thoughts on where the state of Detroit is right now, just as a city? Because from the outside looking in, people see all these things and hear the cities, you know, going bankrupt. There's abandoned blocks for houses, uh, how, you know, blocks and blocks and blocks of just abandoned houses and stuff. What's what's really going on in, in, in Detroit from your estimations? Is it on the rise? Is it still in a fucked up situation? Like, where, I mean, where's it Detroit is, at? It is, it is still in a fucked up situation, but I think we're like, we're coming, we're getting better with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like it takes time. Like, I feel like, man, we, we, we're, you'll see, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, like from the music scene on the side of that, like, I think yeah, the music scene is popping. Yeah. I think that's, what's going to actually help the city. You know what I'm saying? Bring yeah. it back. You know, I think that's going to do it. Yeah, exactly. Who were some of your um, inspirations going up from the Detroit music scene? Is there anybody that might not be globally recognized, but you, that you really listened to that kind of, you know, influenced you to, to become the artist that you are today? Um, I grew up listening to all type of music, like Detroit artists. Like um, one of my favorite artists from Detroit is, uh, say, Big Hurt. Um, okay. The whole little yeah. rock bottom. You know, you got the Blade Icewoods. And you got the newer artists too, you know what I'm saying? Team Eastside. Yeah. All of those type of people. Peasy, Pablo Skywalking, that's on the come up. Travis yeah. Chandler. So yeah, like every, we make good music in the city. So there's so yeah, much, there's so much, there's so much stuff coming out there. So who's, who's next after you in your estimations? Um, from the city, I would say like Travis Chandler, he's from, okay. from the east side of Detroit. Um, Peasy, like I said, Team Eastside, Pablo Skywalk, and Richie Marciano. Overall, and what am I doing? Yeah. I be GM, look, my yeah. camp. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's talk about your camp. So what's kind of the, the whole vision and, and break down what's going on? Because you guys have some have some shit. Uh, yeah, I be GM. I've been getting money as a, as a label, as a talented artist, you know, producers, videographers. We're just, you know all great from Detroit, you know what I'm saying? It's not it's not too many of us, but it's it's a you know, it's a nice little squad. You got Ober Rolling, he's yeah. incredible. You know, you got said ain't, you know, yeah. already know what he do and um we just we about to go hard. DDS on the producing side of things. Mm -hmm. I rock says everybody man, we about to go crazy. Now, how'd you get all guys, how'd you guys all get connected <laughs> because one tough thing is building the right team around yourself. How'd you guys all kind of come together? Um, I met like us. I dropped my um, project "Just Do It" back in uh, 2012, and um, said ain't his little sister actually put him up on my music, and um, he put his manager um, at the time Charlie uh, up on my music. So they both kind of like came at me like, "Yo, you, you know, wanting to help my situation." So um, 
I linked up with them and it's been going down like for like how much like two years. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. And so. now it's all it's all happening. It's crazy how it just kind of happens all of a sudden after all this grind and hard work, and then now you can't keep up with the requests and everything that you you know yeah, is coming it's going in, right? Crazy. How do you stay sane through all that stuff? We kind of touched on it and stuff too. But do you have like do you have to like get away? What do you do to kind of decompress and, and relax and, and step out of this this chaos that is the music well, industry? Well, well, well. <laughs> Man, I just, I don't know. I, I don't get too much time to myself nowadays. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I just roll with the punches. You know what I'm saying? But do it. when I do, you know, I just be chilling. You, you know? got to do it. Well, you got people like, I mean, how'd you get connected? I saw, I mean, everybody setting you up. I saw you with Birdman and Thug and yeah. all that. What, what's that. what was that connection like when you when you guys first connected? Um, Thug hit me up. He was like, I love your music. Let's, let's, let's do an EP together. He just went straight for that. <laughs> like, he wasn't even Yeah, it's not even playing. Not like, oh, let's do a record. Yeah, so... I sent him a record, uh, the Blood record, and he hopped on it. He surprised me when he put Birdman on yeah. it himself. I'm like, wow, this is crazy, you know. So, <laughs> just blessings, man. Like, how, like, how are you getting these <laughs> legendary people on your songs Not and just that. calls from these people? Like, everything that's happening is just like really like wow. It's know? real. So, what's what's next for you? Thank what's you. what's what's on the the agenda for the rest of the year? Um, just stamping my name in the game, yeah. you know, Days Loaf, I'm here to stay, you know, this is deeper than the Try Me record, you yeah, know what right. I'm saying, like, go get this Sell Soul mixtape. Yeah, are you, sick, are, you, are you sick of Try Me yet? Because I know how it is, once you hear any song, I mean, no matter, not sick of it because it's that, but are you like, alright, I can't wait till my next shit comes out. No, nah, I'm not, I'm not sick of it yet. I don't know why I'm not, but I'm not. I'm not either. I don't think yeah. anybody is. It's like one of those addictive records. What was the recording process like when you guys made that? Do you remember when you first heard the beat? Yeah, like I was, I was at home when I heard the beat. I had already like recorded the hook, like at the mall when I was at the mall. That's where I came up with it, like the hook of it. So when I got home and um, DDS sent over like a pack of beats, like 20, 30 beats, and I just picked this one. At the time, the beat was called Good Life, so that was kind of funny that the beat was called that. And I was in my room, my brother was outside doing hair, and I was just vibe now went crazy like i was in there like man i gotta record this asap I, I i couldn't wait to record it like the weekend i needed to record it like tonight so i called the engineer like yo when can i get in he told me i had like a late session i usually had early sessions it was like 12 at night like come through and i went recorded it went crazy how long did it take you to actually record because sometimes it takes a long time to put together those masterpieces sometimes it just happens quick what was your what was your process like See, recording that, that was that was simple for me. Like it was just like I knew what I, how I wanted it to sound. I was just so excited to record it because I was yeah. like, man, like when I'm when I'm writing and I'm feeling it, is is nothing you can tell me or nothing. Yeah. So I'm just like, man, this is it. Let me go to the studio now. Now you've had the. It's been like almost the beat of the year now <laughs> in hip hop too, with the hook of the year. Man. Out of all the songs, who do you think? I mean, I'm not going to put you on the spot to say like who's had the best one, but what's one that you were really, really like surprised with or feeling? Somebody that hopped on it. Um, I like the um, Ti's version. You heard that one? Yeah, Ti's goes so He goes in on that. Yeah. Yeah, that dude can. Yeah, he shows that he still got it. <laughs> now, what's up definitely. with? The, I saw I uh, saw uh, Big Sean was gonna hop on it, but he said he wasn't going to because he had to save it for something. Are we we're looking at a, like an official remix or something soon. I don't know. We gotta <laughs> see. <laughs> Shout to Sean. I can't wait to. I can't wait to hear that. That's my. That's my prediction. But I won't put you on the spot with that. So real quick, before you get out of here, too, a lot of people when I told them you were coming up here, they wanted me to ask you about your fashion and what your favorite brands were. What do you, What do you rock and where do you go shopping? Man, I shop anywhere. Like it doesn't matter. Like if it you know expensive, you know cheap, you never know what you might catch me in. Like yeah. I just like what I like. I like to dress comfortable. You know, I like shades. I like hats. I like all type of stuff. So. That's my style, just comfortable, you know, all white, all black. Where's the best place that you've been to now that you've kind of been on tour and been on the road a little bit and stuff? Is there a favorite city where you've been able to find some more stuff? L.A., New York, anywhere? As far as fashion? Yeah. New York. Um, I was I was in a store out in New York. It was, they had some nice pieces out there. Right. So yeah. we're going to see you doing some fashion stuff. I could see you online and all these Definitely. things Definitely. I want to get into it all, so. Why yeah. not, right? <laughs> Why not? Got to do it while well, it's hot. All right, Christmas coming up. Um, what do you want for Christmas? I'm sure you got a lot of new fans and stuff now, so you'll probably get what what you say for. So, what's on Deja Loaf's Christmas list? Man, I got a lot of stuff. On my list. <laughs> Go ahead, let's let's start. No, nah, I'm Dream probably going to treat list. myself to some stuff. I don't know. Yeah, what's have you made like a big purchase yet? Like a house, a car. A, no, I, not I yet. Know, I'm just yet. I'm just chilling right now. You see, I uploaded the uh, Rolex watch today on my Instagram, and yeah. people was like, "You're gonna go broke," and I'm like, "You don't know what's <laughs> going good, on over here." Good. Like, relax. So yeah, I haven't made any big purchases though. But 
Okay. Anything in the anything in the plans? What, what, what or if you all right? So if you, you get another big check and you have some time finally to sit down and chill, what's what's your first major like purchase that you can kind of like splurge on yourself? Probably like a house. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, where would you where, where would you where would you live? Would you stay in Detroit? Would you come out somewhere else now that you've seen it? You've seen nah, the, the world. I, I think I want to stay in Michigan. So you could buy. You could buy a whole lot of property out there, right? With the yeah. Money that you, you could buy like a whole couple blocks with the way I saw. Like some of those houses were like, they were giving them away and stuff. It's so funny. Man. Everybody keeps saying they're like, right? just get you one of those big old, I'm like, so yeah, I might. I'm, I'm, I know I'm a poor fact. I'm gonna stay in Michigan. Like. You got to you got to do your whole own like whole compound or something and take over the city. Especially, it's gonna come back. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, I'd be Especially with the rise. All, all my that. all my homies. Absolutely, yeah. and you're, you're gonna be a big part of the rise of that city. I could see too with the whole music scene because I, I feel like the whole music scene and stuff too can reflect on how the whole city, the city as a whole feels and grows and the energy and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna cash in on that stuff. Yeah, man, we we about to go crazy. Congratulations! Well, thanks so much for taking the time and sitting thanks down with us up here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys. Anytime, and the records are incredible. Whatever you need, we're we're always here for you. Congratulations on the success, and Thank we'll be you. seeing you much, much more over the years and years to come. For sure. Dej Love, thank you so much. Right. It's Dash Radio. I'm DJ Ski. Don't go nowhere. Where Don't go you? hiking in Jamaica. You, you gotta go with choppers. <laughs> a fucking group of hundred people. We, I know you think you got it like that, Pete. Will Chamberlain ain't got shit on me. 